Today I'm going to talk about a topic that is extremely popular on my YouTube channel as well as all my social media platforms, hyperpigmentation. How to reduce hyperpigmentation naturally. After my previous videos on five things that can worsen your skin pigmentation and foods that you can eat to make melasma better, I still got a lot of requests that I should talk about pigmentation yet a little more and how to make it better. If you all need to know information about what hyperpigmentation actually is and what you might be doing in your daily life that is making it worse, you can head on to my previous videos in which I have covered different types of pigmentation and things we do that make the pigmentation worse. So let's start with this episode today. And here we talk about how to prevent hyperpigmentation naturally. First up, keep your hands off your face. As tempting as it might be to pop your pimples, scratch a mosquito bite or squeeze a stubborn blackhead, think back to your mother's warning, don't pick and pay attention because scratching and picking at a spot will only increase the inflammation that's responsible for skin discoloration. The more you mess with it now, the worse it'll get later. So keep your hands off your face, injuries, blackheads, bites and acne. And anyways, in today's day and age, it's good to keep our hands off our face for our health. Number two broad spectrum SPF. Now, this is the number one rule for any kind of skincare routine and concern. You just can't get by without sunscreen in your life. The absence of sunscreen use will show up on your face one way or another. Sunscreen is the golden rule to avoid and prevent and even help reduce the skin pigmentation. Otherwise, UV rays will make your pigmentation darker with exposure. Also, you need SPF 30 and more with ingredients like titanium oxide, zinc oxide, because it'll give you protection from both UVA and UVB rays. Number three, wear a hat or cover exposed areas. More protection, the merrier. I personally believe that along with sunblock, extra measures should be taken as well. You can't just lather your sunscreen and expect it to do 100% job. You need extra protection and precautions. So use an umbrella, hats to protect your face a little better. That said, let's move on to the treatment part. Now the one thing you should know the sooner you treat hyperpigmentation, the easier it will be to get rid of or even lighten it. The pigment in brown spots can move deeper into the skin over time. Like any medical condition, you should always see a doctor first, follow their treatment and advice. When you get treatments from a dermatologist, they'll usually advise for chemical peels like lactic acid, citric acid, glycolic acid and salicylic acid to treat the hyperpigmentation. What I am going to recommend are a few natural hacks you can use at home quite easily and will have the similar result as the peels above. Just milder and slower and of course more natural. Know that these natural treatments can't completely heal your pigmentation, of course, but these certainly do help with better texture and clearer skin. And it has happened to me, I've experienced them, and that's why I'm sharing with you guys. So let's start with remedy number one, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, which may act as a mild chemical peel for your skin. According to a recent study, apple cider vinegar also contains polyphenols. Polyphenols act as antioxidants and protects your skin cells. Some people use apple cider vinegar directly on the face as it works for them, but you should always do a little patch test at first. To use this remedy, you may mix one part apple cider vinegar and one part water. Apply to the pigmented area for a few minutes. 
Rinse the area thoroughly afterwards. Use at least once daily to start with and see the results, see how it works for you. Keep an eye out of any sign of irritation and stop using the vinegar if irritation appears in that area. Number two, aloe vera. Aloe vera is one of the most versatile plants out there. It contains aloein, a natural depigmenting compound that lightens skin and works effectively as a non-toxic hyperpigmentation treatment. How to use it? Apply pure aloe vera to pigmented areas before bedtime. Rinse using warm water the next morning. Repeat daily until your skin color evens out. Number three, yogurt. This is very effective and I love this one. Yogurt is good for mild pigmentation because it contains lactic acid, which is a common ingredient in chemical peels for the skin. You can also use milk for this. How to use yogurt? Apply yogurt directly to the pigmented area or you can soak a cotton ball in milk. Both of these ingredients will work for you. Let the yogurt or milk sit for a few minutes. Rinse the area thoroughly and apply moisturizer. Repeat this process two times a week and see if it's helping you to improve dark spots. Vitamin C. Many studies have shown that potential home remedies work for hyperpigmentation and those included vitamin C. Also, natural vitamin C has virtually no side effects and if you combine it with other options, it may do wonders for your skin. You can use oranges, papaya in addition to other home remedies like adding orange peel to yogurt. These are rich in antioxidants and can help the pigmentation that is on the surface because vitamin C is not the best as going deep within your skin. Now this may surprise you. Number five, red lentils. Red lentils are for us Indians, masoor dal, are super rich in antioxidants and are a popular choice for a hyperpigmentation treatment. How to make your own mask? Soak 50 grams of red lentils overnight in a bowl of water. Create a fine paste using a blender or food processor. Apply the paste evenly over your face and leave it for 20 minutes. Rinse with cold water. It works wonders. Try it at least twice a week and let me know how it goes. Number six, green tea. Green tea also works really well to lighten the hyperpigmentation because it has an active ingredient called EGCG. EGCG is an antioxidant that helps block the processes in cells that lead to overpigmentation. The green tea leaves themselves also contain calic acid and ellagic acid, which will help improve the skin texture and complexion. How do we use it? Simply place wet tea bags over your dark spots. Hyperpigmentation is usually quite harmless and is more of a cosmetic concern rather than a medical one. These home remedies for pigmentation can definitely help you lighten the pigmentation to some extent. Just take good care of yourself and show yourself the love you deserve and your skin and body will always be thankful. You need to know something about hyperpigmentation. It's rarely that you can get rid of it completely. And a lot of times we start to use a lot of things with chemicals and toxic ingredients on our skin to get rid of hyperpigmentation. But there are a lot of natural ways, as I mentioned in this episode, to start with and then go on the next level. If you still have them or it's still really bothering you. I've had melasma for years and yes, it bothers me, but I've also realized that I don't want to use too many toxic products to get rid of it. I want to stay as natural as possible because I don't want to harm my entire body. But if you want to know more about it, if you want to get deeper into hyperpigmentation and how diet can help, how your stress level can help and you know, everything else that's happening around you can help lighten your hyperpigmentation. I have 
a perfect online course for you holistic skin care master class because that is actually that course actually came out of this issue that i have faced uh, since so many years so check out that course and if you're looking for something for anti aging to lift and sculpt your face then check out my 7 day facelift uh, face yoga and face massage live classes and also you can become a part of my community by joining my membership program called holistic lift lounge where every week we meet so interesting women from all over the world and we do different modalities of face yoga face massage and holistic beauty together and it's just a thriving community of women supporting each other so come and join me and i'll see you next week